Hey, Liza. It looks like Mrs. Peters is still a bit groggy. Will she be going to the floor soon? I have to get up to the unit. Yes, I'm going to call report. She should be up in 15 minutes. Okay. I've added some extra labs to her post-op orders. Mrs. Peters may have problems with a drop in her calcium. Her thyroid was just huge, mm. tucked in way beneath the sternum. We didn't visualize all four parathyroid glands, and they might have been damaged. She seems okay, mm -hmm. but I want her calcium level checked twice a day. She'll need to be monitored for trouble breathing, muscle cramping, and numbness and tingling in her fingers. Okay, I'll make sure to pass on a report to watch out for hypocalcemia. Okay, excellent. If you need me, page me. Okay. Hi, Carla. This is Liza Colby, one of the RNs down in recovery room. Ready for report on Dr. Daniel's patient, Mrs. Angie Peters? Angie Peters, 54 years old, going to room 416, bed 2 on 4 East. Status post-total thyroidectomy this morning, doing well now. BP 120 over 85, heart rate 80, temperature 37 degrees Celsius. O2 is up to 97% on 2 liters, and pain is 2 out of 10. Surgery was remarkable for a large thyroid, no pre-op issues. She's a Jehovah's Witness, so no blood products, but she is a full code. Her advanced directives are in the front of the chart. We have one safety concern, hypocalcemia. Dr. Daniels, the attending, ordered calcium levels, Q12 hours, because she's worried about possible hypocalcemia. So monitor pins and needles, muscle cramps, and shortness of breath. You'll need to review these symptoms when she's fully awake. Normal saline IV is running at 100 cc's per hour. Meds are metropolol, 50 milligram prior to surgery, and we just gave her four milligrams of morphine. Urine output is good, fully to be dc in the morning. I'll let transport team know to ask for you. That is Carla Lopez, right? What else can I tell you? Oh, yes, that's right. You've got all the information right. Good question. There are no known drug allergies. Okay, Angie, I've got one more important thing to go over with you before we let you get some rest, okay? Have you noticed any numbness or tingling in your fingers or your toes, any cramping in your muscles or tightness around your throat since you've been out of surgery? No. No? Okay. I'm asking you these questions because very rarely after thyroid surgery, your calcium level in your blood can drop. Oh, is that serious? It's easy for us to fix, but we can't let it go. A low calcium level that isn't treated can cause serious problems. Well, I see. Dr. Daniels asked me those questions in recovery, but I thought I was dreaming. Mm -hmm. If you experience any of these symptoms at any time, let us know right away, okay? Okay, okay. but this is making me nervous. Oh, I'm not trying to scare you. Dr. Daniels just wants to be safe. Low calcium levels are rare. They're easy to treat. We'll be checking your blood tests. If you have any symptoms, we'll contact Dr. Daniels immediately. We just want you to be aware of what we're looking out for so that you'll let us know, okay? Okay, so tightness in the throat, mm -hmm. tingling, mm -hmm. and what was the third? Muscle cramps, right? That's right. Uh, it's nice to have your daughter here to help keep an eye on you, right? Mm -hmm. Do either one of you have any questions? I don't think so. No, I think no. we'll be okay for a while. Okay, now here's your call button. Get some rest and I'll be back to check on you in a little bit, okay? Hey, Miriam, you have rooms 12, 13, 15, and 16. Here are the rundown on your patients. You got Mrs. Peters, who's a 54 year old woman. She's in room 128. Here's the chart. Do you have Mr. Smith's most recent labs? No, we don't. That's actually a great point for us to start today's free. Hey everyone, let's spend a minute talking about things for us to be aware of today on the unit. The lab's backed up with an analyzer down, they're doing urgents and stats only. We're at 80% occupancy and down one LPN. Janice will be picking up that coverage. Who's backing up Janice? Uh, I think you can handle that. Oh, sure. Uh, what's the ER status tonight? We're back in divert again. I think that's it. Anything else critical? Watch Mrs. Peters for possible hypocalcemia and Mr. Smith, who just started the beta blockers. Both are currently stable. Got it. I'll check back on Mrs. Peters' calcium levels and symptoms and monitor Mr. Smith for hypotension. Perfect. Okay. All right. Thank you. Can you please tell the nurse I'm having some cramping and some numbness in my fingers? 
Mrs. Peters, this is Miriam. I'm right outside. I'll be in shortly to check on you. Uh, Billy, can you check if we got Mrs. Peters' labs back from this afternoon? Calcium was 0 0.78. Boy, that's right on the wire for a critical value. Let me see what her pre-op value was. Hmm. Who's on the board for Dr. Daniels tonight? Dr. Ashley George. Thanks. This is Dr. George. I'm taking care of Angie Peters, a post-op thyroid patient in room 416 on 4E. She's been dropping calcium level pretty fast and she's showing symptoms too. We'll need to treat her, but she's not tolerating PO meds. Can you help me with the IV dosing? Okay. You're going to need to write for one gram of calcium gluconate diluted in 100 milliliters of normal saline IV for an hour. Okay, so let me confirm that. One gram calcium gluconate diluted in 100 milliliters of normal saline IV over an hour? Correct. IV calcium has to be a slow infusion. If it's given too fast, you risk vascular damage. Okay, great, thanks. <laughs> 